You guys are gonna freaking lose your tits, you guys. Give it up for Matthew Doyle Perez, everybody. Woo! lose our tits tonight guys you ready <laughs> and don't forget whatever I say up here remember Marlon is thick okay <laughs> you understand that you guys understand that cool because cool, cool. you you didn't respect the thickness when he was up here <laughs> his thickness was like something you have to really gaze upon and you're just, just like oh is that what it is you're taking it in? we'll talk more later <laughs> I got a text message recently from a number I didn't know. You guys ever had that happen to you? Okay. Oh, look at you. Does she know about it? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I got a text message, right? And no, I don't look at it, but I looked at it. And it was very important because it said that my Chase debit card has fraudulent charges on it. It said, please click the link below. That's a problem. Because they spelled Chase wrong. <laughs> They spell it C-H-A-Y-C-E. So I texted the guy, I was like, you spelled Chase wrong. <laughs> and he texted me like, okay. <laughs> and then he texted me, your Chase debit card has fraudulent charge, it was spelled correct that time. <laughs> Good. But I texted back, I have Bank of America. <laughs> and he texted back, cool. <laughs> and then text me, your Bank of America card has fraudulent charges on it. Please click the link below. I have Chase, okay? I'm just, I'm just messing with the guy right now, right? So I text back, I have Chase. And he goes, I'm blocking your number. <laughs> but first, click on the link below. <laughs> And that's the longest relationship I've been in 2023. I'm killing these streets now. I'm single for a couple of reasons. You guys probably have more ideas why I'm single right now. Um, the first reason I'm single is because I drive. Ready? You gonna take this all in? I drive a minivan. What, really? Damn! You're my favorite. All you guys have to earn it, but this guy's my favorite right now. Now, when you own a minivan, people think that's like a red flag or a episode of America's Most Wanted, <laughs> where there's also red flags. Uh, the thing is, okay, you guys are a couple, right? You're a thruple, right? Thruple. Okay, so one of these guys has a minivan, right? And has to pick one of the guys and the girl on the first date, right? Do you two go on the date with the one guy that drives a minivan? No. Hey, this is up here, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'll get to the principal in a second. <laughs> what do you guys say? Question answer. <laughs> okay, in the back. <laughs> you said no, right? Okay, well, other people are more compassionate than you. Uh, and I went on a date with a girl, and uh, she asked me that question. She was like, well, how'd you get here? I said, I drove. And she was like, what type of car do you have? I said, I drive a minivan. And she goes, ew, you drive a rape van? Oh, right? I'm like, no. I drive the mini version. I can't afford the real thing. <laughs> Biden's America, right? 2024, I'm going I'm trying to figure my audience out. The second reason I am single is I am a pro wrestling fan. Any pro wrestling fans here? Really? Just have the, the no the whole time? Just because he's not the principal of the room. You know the chances. I'm the only one answering. You are. So thank you for, I guess, being the only audience. She, she's shitting on you guys. You better tap her. She said you guys ain't shit. Michigan, you better handle that. All right, so there's no wrestling fans here? Fantastic. Uh, well, I'm a huge pro wrestling fan, and I realize I'm really mad nowadays because pro wrestling fans will actually go out and buy a pro wrestling belt, and they'll wear it in public. They'll spend $600, $700 on this shit. It's like, you really want to spend that much money to let women know you can't fuck? Really? Like, Survivor Series is a WWE pay-per-view, and it's very popular. And it was in Chicago last year, right? And I was on the train, and a guy had one of those belts. And then a guy walked up to him and kicked his ass. <laughs> and took his belt. <laughs> and everybody on the train was like, dude, he just robbed that guy. I was like, no. He's just a new champion. That's how I Have you not seen wrestling? 
it got really weird. Like the police got involved. They're like, did you see what happened? I was like, yes. And you can too. Live on pay per view. <laughs> He's like, pay per view. It's like a world star. Find, find it by world star. Yeah. 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 The crazy thing about like life is that like uh, I don't know like. Okay, principal. How long have you been the principal of the school? One year. One year, okay. And how old are you? Uh, 38. Okay, you're my age. I'm 40. Like, back in our day, we had... Are you from Chicago? Yeah. Okay, back in our day, Michigan, we had an amazing basketball team called the Bulls. In the 90s, we had the Bulls. They were the greatest team ever. We had the Pistons. Yeah, about that now. Right. <laughs> you might learn something. <laughs> so to find out, growing up, they came with so much merchandise for the Bulls, it was insane, right? Uh, to prove it, they actually came out with this thing called the Sky Pippin Candy Bar. It's a true thing, you can Google it if you get signal in here. Uh, to find out, like, my teacher was such a huge fan of the Bulls, we had to sell these candy bars to raise money for our school, okay? Now, he made it into a competition. He said, whoever sells the most Sky Pippin candy bars is the Michael Jordan of selling Sky Pippin candy bars. <laughs> and whoever sells barely any candy bars is the Scotty Pippin of selling Sky Pippin candy bars. Now, I don't know if you guys follow the tabloids, but your boy does. So, to find out, Michael Jordan Jr. is banging Sky Pippin's ex wife. Yeah. yeah. Which makes Michael Jordan Jr. the Michael Jordan of banging Sky Pippin's ex wife. <laughs> You guys are an amazing crowd, I'll leave you with this fun one. Uh, I am dating somehow, and uh, I met this one girl. Uh, the reason I remember her so vividly is because you can't forget when somebody tells you they are, they are a vampire. She said that she is a vampire, okay? And she invited me over and I went because I want to see the vampire. And then she asked me, like, have you ever been with a vampire before? And I said no, because naturally that's what you say when a self-proclaimed vampire asks you, have you been with a vampire before, right? Just so the room knows, I don't know. So I said no, and she was like, oh my God, fresh meat. And she moves my hair back and starts biting me on my neck as hard as she can. And then she lifts up my shirt and starts biting me here, 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 and then stops right here. I'm like, not going to go any further? <laughs> she goes, no. I was like, well, you're a shitty vampire. <laughs> She's like, why would you say that? It's like, where do you think all the blood went? <laughs> and then this, this girl had the nerve to say, well, I couldn't tell. It's like, well, oh, shit. <laughs> Vampires need eyesight. Thank you. That's my time, guys. Enjoy the show.